This is a short intro video to kind of let you know what Gary and I are doing as of today. We're getting ready to go out and do uh, basically an R44 transition for him. He has about five hours of R22 time. This is going to be his first flight in the R44. So not only are we going to get him some R44 time, we're going to do part of the instrument training he needs for the five hours of commercial for the commercial rating, the five hours of instrument time. So today we're just going to do a familiarization flight with him, just to get him comfortable with the R44. He has R22 time, so it's not totally foreign. He's got rotorway time, he has instrument time, R22 time, now R44. And what else have you got time in? Anything else? Hiller. Hiller. And then he owned a Hiller for a while. So he's got, you know, a good range of different aircraft that he's been in. So not a big deal to him to, you know, transition to another aircraft. And we'll probably make two sections of this training. One will be for anybody just wanting to transition to the R44. And then the other section of training will be covering the five hours of instrument time that you need for the commercial. So what I want to look up here... I was actually looking right before Gary came in is we want to not only get him transitioned into the R44, but we need to think about what's it going to take for him later to get a sign off for PIC in the R44. So you have about five hours of R22 time now. Yes. Right. Okay. So we go to the handy dandy far aim to the S far section and it tells us you have to look up R22 or R44, whichever aircraft you're looking for your PIC sign off. Okay, first we'll cover the SVAR training. He's had the SVAR training. I, I already asked him about that. and He, he has the SVAR sign off, the initial SVAR sign off, when he went to fly in the R-22. So we're covered on his SVAR sign off. If you've been going through our other videos, you know I'm current with the R-44. I am PIC current. I'm instructor current. And I have all the sign offs I need for the R-44. So looking up for Gary, what it's going to take for him to be able to be PIC in the R44. Okay, so here we go for Gary's R44 PIC sign-off. No person may act as pilot in command of a Robinson R44 unless that person has had at least 200 hours of flight time in helicopters, which Gary has. He's had his private now for three or four years. So you're well over the 200, right? Yes. At least 50 hours of flight of which were in the Robinson R44 which he doesn't have that. But if we continue to read down, there's an exception to that part. Like there's an exception to every single rule and everything that we do. The pilot in command may credit up to 25 flight hours in the Robinson R-22 towards the 50 hour requirement in the Robinson R-44. Okay, he doesn't have all that time. Or, and here's where this applies to us, or has had at least 10 hours dual instruction in a Robinson helicopter. So he's got five now in the R-22, at least five hours of which must have been accomplished in the Robinson R-44 helicopter and has received an endorsement from a certified flight instructor authorized under paragraph B-5 of this section. That the individual has been given the training required by this paragraph and is proficient to act as pilot in command of an R-44. Okay, so we just verified through he has his sign-off, He's got five in the R-22. I'm a qualified instructor. So after I give him five hours of R-44 instruction, he can then have the, P the pilot and command sign off for the R-44 because he's got the 10 hours of dual, five of the R-22, five in the R-44 to get the complete 10. Sounds good. Okay. So Gary has already started his pre-flight on the R-44 while I was up here doing some other stuff. And he has some questions, of course, because it's been a while since he was in the R-22. So we're going to go down there. I think we'll throw a camera up and a mic and we'll just kind of go over some of the stuff that Gary's going to be asking about. Because I did an entire pre-flight already this morning with the first guy that went out to work on his commercial. And, you know, I'm comfortable with the pre-flight. We did the full pre-flight, used the ladder, hit the blades, hit absolutely everything. So we'll do more of an abbreviated pre-flight. Gary's went over everything he could find. We're going to go through the things that he wasn't sure of and we'll check those out look the aircraft over check fluids and we'll record that oh, for you and then the second part of this yep, is i think all you can really do is kind of look Gary's in there from the back for you can look in there you can see it. his commercial and he has to have five hours of instrument training and i wanted to cover this in this video <laughs> 